Hello folks, Jose here with another video tutorial for WPBasics.org. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to make a copy of your live WordPress site to your local computer using a fabulous new plugin that I discovered called All-in-One WP Migration. Now this plugin makes this job so easy that even a novice should have no problem accomplishing the task. Now, why would you want to make a copy to your local computer? Well, you may want to test out plugins before you install them to your live site. You may want to test out a new upgrade to a theme or to something else before you install it to your live site. Or you might want to do some development work. In any case, this plugin makes the process really easy. So let's get started with the creation of a copy of your live WordPress site. So the first thing we need to do is go to our live site and go to our dashboard and then scroll down here to where it says plugins and click on add new. And then here on the top right hand corner where it says search plugins, search for all in one and this will bring up a bunch of results. The one we're looking for is all in one WP migration by serve mask. It has these uh, little uh, arrows going in circles. So that's what you want to do. And we can see here that it has over a million downloads. It's been uh, updated just last week. So this is a good plugin to install. So let's click on install now. So it is now installed. Next, let's activate it. And once we've done that, you will see a new uh, icon here. It says all-in-one WP migration. Let's click on that. Now you will see a bunch of things here. You see an add button, you see a report issue button. What we're looking for is here the export to button. Now there is this little drop down that says advanced options and you can do select a bunch of things here that what, what not to export, uh, things to exclude. But for now we wanna export everything. So let's just leave that all uh, unchecked and just click on export to. And what we're going to be exporting to is file. There's all kinds of other options to export to Dropbox, and maybe I'll do a tutorial on that another time. But for now, click on File. So right now it's checking your extensions to make sure everything is compatible. So let's let it do that now. So now it's confirmed the download size. In this case, my download size is 121 megabytes. So then you just click on this button that's uh, flashing. And then we're going to select an area where we want to download it. I already have a here a prior download, but uh, let me get rid of that old one. So let's download the new one. Say yes. So now that it's downloaded, we can go on with the next step. So now that we've downloaded a copy of our live, live site to our computer, what we need to do now is create a fresh install of a WordPress site on our local computer. I'm going to be using Local by Flywheel to do this. And if you don't know how to use this program, I am going to leave a link in the description, or you can view my webpage wpbasics.org for a tutorial on how to install Local by Flywheel, which I'm going to be using now. So once you have it installed, you go to the top right hand, left hand corner of this uh, menu bar here and you just click on add new. And we're going to name our site. So let me just call it Fed G tips. Okay. And then there's advanced options here, but don't worry about them. Just leave it alone. Click on continue. Same thing here. Just select the preferred, go ahead and continue. And with this right now, the, the username is root and the de default password is root also. So just make a note of that and then click add site. And your site will begin to get added. And this takes a little bit of time. So give it just, just be a little patient. So here we go, our WordPress site has now been created. We can double check it just by he, uh, clicking on view site. Here it is. 
Uh, what we want to do though is we don't want to be there. We want to go back to here and we want to click on uh, admin. And let's just log into the admin panel with our password, uh, username, password, both are root by default. And what we want to do now in, in this fresh install of WordPress is click on plugins and then add new. And then again here in the top right hand corner, type in all in one. And here's the program again, all in one WP migration. Go ahead and install now. Once it's installed, go ahead and activate it. Okay, so now that it's activated, go ahead and click on all-in-one uh, WP migration and then on this button that says import and then what we want to do is you can drag the pro the copy of your site here or you can just uh, cl click here where it says import from and then select file and then we're going to select the file that we downloaded earlier click on it and then click on open and then it's going to begin to import it So now it just gives us this little warning telling us that the process is going to overwrite everything. And that's exactly what we want. I mean, our, our site is just a brand new, uh, fresh install of WordPress. We want it to overwrite everything and uh, install our live site here. So we can just go ahead and click on proceed. So this does take a little bit of time, this uh, installation of your uh, live site to your local computer. So just be patient and sit back and relax for a few minutes. So there we have it. It says that your data has been imported successfully. You need to confirm two more steps. So it says you must save your permalinks twice. So let's do that. Click on that link here. So let's log in. And the important thing here is that now that uh, we've uh, downloaded our live site to log in, we now have to use our live site uh, username and our live site uh, password. So go ahead and enter that. And now that we're here at the, in our uh, admin panel, just go ahead and click Save Changes. And it said twice, so let's do that again. So now that we have that, let's just close this. And we can go to Visit Site. And here we have our live site downloaded to our local host. It's working perfectly, as you can see. Uh, I'm scrolling up and down. We can go to our dashboard. And uh, that, well, let me log into that just to show you. And once again, we have to use the passwords from our live site. And there it is. It's all done. And that's the, all there is to it, actually, folks. Uh, it's that simple with uh, all-in-one WP migration. Well, folks, I hope you found this video uh, useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like, and don't forget to visit my webpage, wpbasics.org. Bye for now. Bye-bye.